Hi, this is Rachel of Daily Bread Yoga, all together now. This is going to be a cherish class uh, style, more or less. Uh, so I hope it's useful for you. I think it is useful for everyone, quite frankly, because there is always going to be a time that we are going to need to adapt poses because we can't go down on hands and knees or because we just don't want to. And so I hope that you can make um, this kind of a class part of your regular routine to sort of expand your expectation of what your yoga practice is. And if you always practice Cherish Yoga, you know how wonderful it is already. So thank you. So you're going to want, you're actually going to want two sturdy chairs. Needs to be no cushions, um, unless, unless it's very basic cushion for, uh, we're going to need, use the second chair uh, near the end. So that one could have a cushion. And if they have a cushion, there are many other tragedies in the world. But nonetheless, you want two sturdy chairs. Okay. So sitting up nice and tall in your chair, you're going to scoot all the way to the back. Roll those shoulders back and down. Stretch your face, take a nice inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. Feel the floor underneath your feet and the chair underneath your bottom. Trust that they're both holding you up. You don't need to hold yourself up. Start to draw your attention inward. Retune your senses. Peeling through the layers of you that relate to everyone and everything else. Like you take off your hat, your shoes. Peel through the layer of you that relates to your family, your friends, your work or places of responsibility until you're left with you relating to you right here and now, just as you are. And from that space, bringing up gratitude for all that makes it possible for you to be here in the midst of everything. Gratitude for your physical health. Despite aches and pains and frustrations with your body, you are healthy and strong enough today to show up for this class. Turn your hands over, palm face up. Gratitude for your mental health. Despite anxiety and stress, despite conflict and distraction, you were able to make the decision to be here and follow through on that decision. And aim your heart out and up just a little bit more, soften your jaw. Gratitude for any sense of spiritual health. That despite some really hard days, maybe some grief or depression, loneliness or fear, despite all that, there was also enough levity and momentum, enough hope and confidence in this practice and this gathered community to pull yourself up off the couch, away from whatever else you were doing or could be doing, and show up. With all that gratitude and res resilience that is strong in you, send out some hope and love and courage to the people and the places, all of the situations that are struggling for such health today, even if you kind of feel like one of them. Turn those hands over, sit up nice and tall, take an inhale here. Exhale, let your head sink down. And further still, soften your jaw, your shoulders. Roll that right ear over your right shoulder. Sit up nice and tall. Extend that left arm down. Release your jaw. Let your head sink down. Return your hand. Roll that left ear over your left shoulder. Sit up nice and tall. Extend that right arm down. Release your jaw. Let your head sink down, return your hand. Reach your chin towards the ceiling, stretching the front of your neck. 
Bring your heart towards the ceiling a little bit more for a gentle back bend. And back into neutral. Looking over your right shoulder and over your left. And back in a center. Scoot yourself up in your chair a bit. Inhale, reach those arms up and reach higher. Bend the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades. Turn your chest to the right. Back in a center and then turn to the left. Back in a center, squeeze those shoulder blades. Bring your left elbow in your right. Round your back, elbows in the belly button. Bring yourself back up. Take those elbows wide, squeeze your shoulder blades. Right elbow in left, round your back, elbows and belly button. Bring yourself back up, bring those arms down, round your shoulders back and down. Inhale, reach both arms up and reach higher. Right arm down at your side and then reach towards the floor. Inhale, take that right arm up. Take the left arm down at your side and reach towards the floor. Inhale, bring those that arm back up. Bring your hands to the side of your chair and squeeze your shoulder blades. Aim your heart out and up. This is cow pose. Exhale, round your shoulders to the front. Head is down. This is cat. Inhale, open up, squeeze those shoulder blades. Exhale, round your shoulders to the front, head is down. One more time, inhale, open up, sitting up nice and tall. Take that right arm up and cross it over. Sit up nice and tall and twist to the left. Back in a center, holding on to the side of your chair, squeeze your shoulder blades, aim your heart out and up. Take the left arm up and cross it over that right leg. Sit up nice and tall and twist. And back in a center, pull that right knee into your chest, sit up nice and tall, roll the foot around. Stretch your face, your mouth. Take that right ankle on top of your left thigh, flex this right foot, and bring your heart towards your shin. So you feel it along your right hip, maybe along that thigh as well. Bring yourself back up and turn to the right. And then go the other direction. And back in the center, inhale, reach the arms up. Bring those arms straight ahead, reach out and up. You're pushing strong into that left leg. Pull the arms down, round your back, release your spine to gravity. Roll yourself up, bring that right foot down, pull that left knee into your chest, roll the foot around. Take that left ankle on top of that right thigh, sitting up nice and tall. Bring your heart towards your shin. Bring yourself back up. Twist to the left. And the other way. And back in a center. Inhale, reach those arms up. Bring those arms straight ahead, reach out and up, pushing into that right leg. Pull the arms down, round your back, release your head and neck. Roll yourself up. Bring those feet flat on the floor, a little bit wide. Hold under the side of your chair, dip a knee down in the center and go side to side. These are windshield wipers, we're, so we're rotating our hips in the socket. You're stretching out all of that right in your pelvis. It's all good. Bring yourself back in the center. Bring those elbows to your knees. Push the legs out. You're going to pull your heart forward and draw your shoulders back. Gently take your head side to side. And then dip a shoulder down in the center and go side to side.
and then come all the way down in the middle. Release your spine to gravity. So you put a little effort into your feet. Release your head and neck. Stay just like this or shift your weight into your feet, getting your bottom off the chair. Bottom to the chair, hands to your lap. Roll yourself up. Again, hold onto the side of the chair. Dip a knee down and go side to side. And take those legs wide, sit up nice and tall. You're gonna stick your butt out a little bit behind you. Extend that right leg out to the side. Left elbow to left thigh, reach the right arm up and over. This is extended side angle. Right hand slides down that right leg, reach the left arm up and over. This is reverse warrior. Left elbow to left thigh, reach that right arm up and over. Right hand slides down that right leg, reaching the left arm up and over. Bring that left hand behind, right hand goes across, sit up and twist to the left. Back in the center, do some windshield wipers right here. Take those feet, legs wide, extend the left leg out to the side and sit up. Right elbow to right thigh, reach the left arm over, extended side angle. Left hand slides down that left leg, reach the right arm up and over. Right elbow to right thigh, reach the left arm up and over. One more time, left hand slides down that leg. <clears throat> right hand behind you on the chair, take that left arm across, sit up and twist to the right. Back in the center, do those windshield wipers again. And bring your feet flat on the floor, kind of come to the edge of your seat, feet flat on the floor. You're going to extend that right leg out on the floor, flex your foot, sit up, heart to big toe, and you're pulling your big toe, your big heart. Bring yourself back up. Extend that left leg out, flex the foot, sit up, heart to big toe, and big toe to big heart. And bring yourself back up. Roll those shoulders back, and we're going to come up to standing behind your chair. <clears throat> so you need to be able to have space behind you, so if you're facing... Uh, your device, that's totally fine. You just have to have space behind you. So you don't have to turn to the side like I am. Here we go. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the chair. Step the right leg back and bend the left knee. Bring your heart forward, shoulders down. This is warrior one. Step back in a down dog. Pull those hips back. You might bend your knees a little bit. Soften your neck and jaw. Look ahead, step that right leg into the chair and bend the knee. Heart forward, shoulders down. I'm pressing my left heel down towards the floor, but my heel will never touch the floor just because of my Achilles tendon and all of the parts of my foot. Step into the chair. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the chair. So up that left leg back and bend the right knee. Ground through your legs and take the right arm up. And maybe take the other arm up. Hands to the chair, step back in a down dog. Pull those hips back. Look ahead, step that left leg into the chair and bend the knee. Heart forward, shoulders down. Round through your legs and take the left arm up and the other arm up. Hands to the chair and step into it. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale to the chair. Step that right leg back and turn it out. Extend your arms out. Gaze over your left fingers. Bend that left knee. This is warrior two. You might need to widen your stance just to feel not stuck or not, um, yeah, not stuck. I needed to spread out a little bit to feel stable and um, 
not constricted. So this is warrior two. Left hand to the chair, reach that right arm up and over. Right hand to your right leg, take the left arm up. This is reverse warrior. Both hands to the chair, pivot your back foot, bring your heart forward. Now we're doing three step ups. Here we go. Step up, bring it back down. Step up, bring it back down one more time and hold it. Step up, two, three, four, five. Bring that leg down. Other side, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to the chair. Step the left leg back in a warrior two. Extend the arms out. Bend that front knee. Again, you might need to adjust that back leg. Shoulders in their sockets. Right hand to the chair. Take that left arm up and over. Left hand to your left leg. Reach the right arm up. Both hands to the chair. Pivot your back foot. Bring the heart forward. Three step ups. Here we go. Step up one. Bring it back down. Step up two. Bring it back down one more time and hold it. Step up, two, three, four, five. Bring the leg down. Step away from the chair. Let your arms flop around you. This is empty coat sleeves. <clears throat> You're gonna do three cleansing breaths, three rounds of cleansing breath with me. Arms down at your side. This is all breathing through your nose. Roll those shoulders back and down. <clears throat> Here we go. Inhale, hands towards you. Exhale, push it out. Inhale, up. Exhale, around. Again, inhale towards you. Exhale, push it out. Inhale, up. Exhale, around. One more time with pauses. Inhale towards you. Two, three. Exhale, push it out two, three. Inhale, reaching up, two, three. Exhale, around. Step your feet wide and turn your feet out. We're doing three wide leg squats. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Inhale, up. Exhale, two. Inhale, up. Exhale, three, hold it here, two, three, four, five, turn to the right, back in a center and turn to the left, back in a center, tip to one side, back in a center, tip to the other side, back in a center, inhale, stand up, and bring those arms down, heel toe your feet together. You're going to turn this chair around so you are facing the seat. Step your feet wide. Your feet are straight ahead. Hands to your hips. Bend your knees. Stick your butt out. Hands to the chair. Now straighten your arms and legs, but do not lock your knees. So you might wobble your knees. We're going to do three push-ups. These are yoga push-ups, so you bend your elbows straight back and then push up. Three of them. You're kind of squeezing your rib cages as you go down. Here we go. Bend your elbows straight back, push up. Bend your elbows straight back, push up. One more. Bend your elbows straight back, push up. Right hand to right hip, open your chest to the side. You're pushing strong through your legs. Hand to the chair. Bend your elbows straight back, push up. Left hand to left hip, open up to the side. Hand to the chair, bend your elbow straight back, push up. Take that right arm up, fingertips reach up, you're pushing strong through your legs. Hand to the chair, bend your elbow straight back, push up. Take that left arm up and reach. Hand to the chair. Bend your elbows straight back, push up. Bring your legs together at the chair. So my knees are in the chair. 
Step the right leg way back and bend that left knee into the chair. Look ahead. Take your hands off the chair so that your legs are holding you up. Bring your hands back to the chair. Take a big inhale here. Exhale, push that left leg straight. You're pushing really strong into both heels. Bend the left knee, look ahead. Dip the right knee down. Bring it back up. You're not bringing it all the way to the floor. Big inhale here. Exhale, push that left leg straight. So we're doing this two more times. This is number two. Bend the left knee, look ahead. Dip the right knee down. Press it back one more time. Big inhale. Exhale, push that left leg straight. Your legs holding you up, not your arms. Bend the knee, dip that right knee down, and come back up. You're gonna step your legs wide. Hold on to the back of the chair and pull your hips back. Release your head and neck. You might bend your knees even a little bit. This is wide leg down dog. Look ahead, step that right leg into the chair and bend the knee, step that left leg way back. Look ahead. Get all the effort in your legs. Take your hands off the chair. Keep the effort in your legs. Bring your hands to the chair for stability. Big inhale. Exhale. Push the, the legs straight. You're pushing through the heels. Bend the knee. Look ahead. Dip the left knee down. Press up. Remember, we're doing this a total of three times. That was one. Big inhale. Exhale, push that right leg straight. Bend the right knee, look ahead, dip the left knee down, press up. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, push that leg straight. Your legs are holding you up, not your arms. Bend that right knee, look ahead, dip the left knee down, Press up. Step those legs wide. Hold on to the back of the chair and pull your hips back. You're going to walk your feet towards the chair, leaving about a foot away from the chair. So you are in a really tall tabletop. We're doing knee to nose and send it back. I don't have a better title for that. So you bring your knee into your nose, you look ahead, send the leg back. We're gonna do that five times on each side, okay? So here we go. Knee to nose, send it back. Two, send it back. Three, send it back. Four, send it back. Five, send it back. Bring the leg down. Other side. Knee to nose. Send it back. Two. Send it back. Three. Send it back. Four. Send it back. Five. Send it back. Bring the leg down. Bend your knees. Round your back. Roll yourself up. Inhale, reach those arms up and reach higher. Heart towards the ceiling. Hands to your heart. Empty coat sleeves. Let those arms flop around you. And you're going to take that chair and turn it to the side. <clears throat> We're going to do balancing work. You're going to bring that left foot on the seat. You can bring your right hand to the back of the chair. So first we do five calf raises. Here we go. Press up and down. Two and down. Three and down. Four and down. One more. Five and down. Excuse me. Inhale. Reach those arms up and reach higher by pushing into that right leg. So this left leg has almost no effort. Bend your elbows. Turn to the left. Back in a center and turn to the right. Back in a center. Inhale, reach those arms up. 
push stronger into that right leg, lift the left, and bring it down to the floor. Shake your hands, your feet, turn the chair the other way. Bring your right foot on that seat, five calf raises. Press up and down, two and down, three and down, four and down, five and down. Oh, it is close to my bedtime. Inhale, reach those arms up, push strong into the left leg. Bend the elbows, open your chest. Turn to the right, back in a center, and turn to the left, back in a center. Inhale, reach up, push down in the left leg, lift the right, and bring it down. Shake your hands and your feet up. You're going to go get that other chair. Don't turn it off and just tune out. Finish. So go get another chair. It's not that big of a deal. I promise, I'm sure you have more than one chair in your house. <clears throat> All right, so bringing both legs up on the chair. <clears throat> Point and flex your feet, roll them around. Oh, bring that left foot flat on the floor. This is why I cannot teach many classes at night because I get so sleepy. All right. Here we go. So flex the right foot, push through the heel, and then sit up away from the back of the chair. So you're gonna feel this in your torso and the in your hamstring as well. Two, three, four, five, and then release. Point that foot again. Flex the right foot, push through the heel, sit up, bring your heart towards your big toe, and your big toe towards your big heart. You might not go far. Bring yourself back. Bring that right ankle on top of your left thigh. Flex the foot, sit up nice and tall. Bring your heart towards your shin. Bring yourself back up. Bring that leg down and take that left leg up on the chair. <sighs> so here we go. Flex your foot, push through the heel, and sit up. Two, three, four, five, and release. Ugh. One more time. Flex your foot, push through your heel, sit up, heart to big toe, and big toe to big heart. And release. Bring that left ankle on top of your right thigh. Sit up nice and tall. Bring your heart towards your shin. Bring yourself back up. Extend both legs out. Ugh. Flex both feet. Push through your heels. Sit up. Two, three, four, five. You're going to reach forward and release wherever you are. Roll yourself up. Bring the soles of your feet together. You might need to scoot that chair closer to you. And then just let that chair support you behind. Oh, take all the yawns you need. I mean, seriously. Don't you get tired? Especially at night. I'm so tired. Eight o'clock for goodness sake. All right, bring those legs down. You are going to bring your hands to the chair, scoot your fanny back. You're gonna bring your heart forward. Oh, and then you're gonna round your back. Then you're gonna bring your elbows down, scoot your fanny back, bring your heart forward and round your back. And then you are gonna rest. Maybe you're going to just lay on the chair like me. I also really like to just rest my head on my hands or whatever these are called. 
Soften your jaw, soften your lower back. And using your arms to press yourself up. Oh. Turn that chair off to the side. Sit yourself up nice and tall. Roll those shoulders back and down. Take a nice inhale through your nose and exhale out your mouth. <sighs> the meditation mantra of the month is the practice of ahimsa, which is the practice of care and compassion, the practice of active nonviolence, compassionate, loving, compelling nonviolence, non-harming, care on purpose. So the quote for this week is by a man named Jack Cornfield, and he says, if your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. If your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. So sitting up nice and tall, feel the floor underneath your feet and the chair underneath your bottom. Just that they're both holding you up. You don't need to hold yourself up. We're gonna practice the loving kindness meditation. So bringing to the surface of your mind and heart a relationship that is currently easy to love and be loved by. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be healthy in mind, body, spirit. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be truly happy and free. Turn those hands over, palm face up. Bring to the surface of your mind and heart a relationship that is currently more complicated. May we be filled with loving and kindness. May we be healthy in mind, body, spirit. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be truly happy and free. Bring your hands over your heart. Take a bigger inhale and exhale through your nose, feeling your chest rise and fall. Drawing your attention inward in that space of you in relationship with you. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be healthy in mind, body, spirit. May I be peaceful and at ease. May I be truly happy and free. Bring those hands down on your lap, sitting up nice and tall, keeping your attention drawn inward. Soften the bottom of your feet, release your toes. Let some warmth and weight rest heavy on top of your feet. Maybe getting a sense of that pull of gravity down your shin bones. Letting those thighs rest on the chair. Feeling the total support of that seat underneath you. Let your hips sink down. Still sitting up nice and tall. Soften your, your lower back. Release your belly. Let that ease and softness rise up your spine. Letting your shoulders rest. Turn those hands over, palm face up, releasing all effort in your arms, your hands. Letting your fingers curl up and float.
Practice letting go here. Practice letting go of the conversations and the misunderstandings, the decisions and the unanswered questions. Right here and now. Practice loosening your grip on all that is beyond your control. Letting go of the work that is not yours to do. So that you can be about the work that is yours to do. Softening the muscles of your neck that reach across your back and your chest. Soften your jaw and your chin. Release your lips and your cheeks. Soften your eyebrows and your forehead. Soften even the very crown of your head. Trusting that all of this new and renewed energy and strength, all of this effort and rest is inside of you as it has always been. Start to wiggle your toes and your fingers, letting your body know that you're gonna move. Turn those hands over, taking a bigger inhale and exhale through your nose. Ooh. Reconnecting with that sensation of gratitude for all that makes it possible for you to be here in the midst of everything, just as it is. Gratitude for the day that has been and the rest of the day that will be. Taking a moment to notice how things might have shifted and changed during this practice. Remembering that there is always more happening than we could ever know or perceive. Trusting that there will be shifts to come. I thank you for sharing your practice with us. I know that it makes such a difference that you are here. Namaste. I hope you all have a really nice day wherever you are.